Hello, I'm Kate Fractal. Welcome back to Fractal PQCS. This video is part two in learning about how to use fonts and formats in Twine to make your text look more varied. Um, if you have used macro syntax before and you're looking at it and say, oh yeah, macro syntax, I remember that, um, you're in the right spot. If you're like, what is macro syntax? What are you talking about? Go watch video one in this series, the previous one. Um, so I'm gonna assume that you're in the right spot. This is where you wanna be. Um, there's, uh, I'm going to jump in and start making some examples of the text. So sometimes you want to have a different font. You want to have your text look a little different for the fonts. Um, uh, the way we do that is we're going to use a font named macro. So I'm going to do parentheses, font, so that's the macro name, colon, to say I'm done with the font. Um, I'm going to put the name of the font in quotes. Um, so in this case, I'm going to use courier new. Um, not every font will work, but you can try it out and see if it does. Um, this one I know does from experience. I close the parentheses. So I've said, change the font. The font you should change it to is Courier New. Um, and I now need to tell it what text to change. Um, Courier New is often the way like programming fonts work. Um, so I'm gonna say, uh, this looks like code. Uh, and then I close it with a single square bracket. So no single square bracket. Um, if I had double square brackets, it would be a link. Um, so as always, once I do something, I want to test it out. I can test it out from that specific passage. Um, hey, that does indeed look like code. Nice. Um, so that's fonts. There's a lot of them. Uh, Sometimes I want to change the style of something. So like, it's not necessarily a different font, but I want to like uh, have it in a different place. So um, so if you have done exponents in math, where you have like a number and then a little number up in the right corner, uh, means multiplication, um, we're going to do that. So I want to do um, 2 to the 8th equals 256. Um, and here, uh, I'm... When I'm typing it out, I think I actually want to say um, I'm going to do the hook first. Um, right? So I'm saying I'm going to change this 8 so that it's up, like it moved up. Um, and then I'm going to make this into a math equation. Now, if I test this out, uh, you'll notice that right now it says 28 equals 256, which is obviously wrong. So that hook being there didn't change anything by itself. I'm going to put the macro in first. Um, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, go back inside the parentheses. Um, this is text style. Um, and the one I want is superscript. Let's try it out. Test early, test often. Um, okay, so I'm getting an error message. It's saying superscript is not defined. Um, I can look in my errors, I get the same error message there. So whatever this is, it's that's clearly the issue. Um, so if this happens to you, and it may very well, uh, uh, one thing you can do is you can look at example code. We have some example code here. You go back and be like, okay, so in this example, I have a text style that did work. It said italics. These are like, like green. Oh, they have quotes around them. I probably need quotes around superscript. So, okay. So text style, quote, superscript, End quote, maybe this will work. Test it out. Yes, 2 to the 8th equals 56. That's a better equation. Yay. OK. So the next thing I want to show you is how to do color. Um, you might be able to think of this. Um, so I'm going to do the word fire in the color red, because fires are red. Um, so parentheses color red for the quotes this time parenthesis square bracket for the hook the word i want to have be red is fire fire um, in the square bracket test it out fire is red yes um, so that's the basics of using fonts and formats um, Have a good day. Uh, you can tune into video three for some 
special technique